Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to the Monday Night Raw Review for May 9th, 2016. Now, the show doesn't start off like the other shows have normally started off. It starts off with Chris Jericho and the highlight reel. And he says that he was going to uh, have Dean Ambrose as a special guest. But due to his attack last week, Dean Ambrose is in the hospital and will no longer won't be there. He'll probably be out for a long time. And then he uh, pulls a, uh, a sheet that was on the stool and reveals the remains of Mitch the Potter Plant. He says that Dean Ambrose is a loser and that he's just like the crowd, a loser, and that that's why they can relate to him. Because he's a loser, he's a, uh, uh, he's a slob, he's, he's nothing. And then he says that he, can't, he personally can't relate because he's a legend, he's the wrestler's wrestler. And uh, then he, uh, he gives the crowd the gift of Jericho, and Big Cass comes out. Don't, didn't see that one coming. But Big Cass comes out and says that uh, if he was ever given the gift of Jericho, he would need uh, the receipt because he would never accept that gift. And uh, Chris says, uh, he says that Chris does not understand the new era. And when they say that they have arrived, it is not them looking for attention. It is them looking for a fight. And Cass says that he has arrived. Chris tells Big Cass to go visit Enzo Annoying in the, in the uh, emergency room. And uh, Big Cass says, uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm looking for a fight. We can fight right now. Chris Jericho says, you want to fight? You want to fight? And then leaves the ring. And then uh, Cass spells it out for him. Jericho then doesn't like that. Rushes the ring and runs right into a big boot. Uh... Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. I don't really care. Matt goes right outside of the ring very, very soon. Ziggler drops, uh, drop kicks Corbin over the barricade. Uh, Corbin hits a uh, deep six. One, two, Ziggler kicks out. And then Baron Corbin hits end of days to end the match. Fandango versus R Truth. R Truth wins. Who cares? wasn't even that long. Charlotte versus Paige. Ric Flair was banned from ringside because uh, Ric Flair and Charlotte talked to Shane to see if they could get him to reverse Stephanie's decision of banning Ric Flair at uh, Extreme Rules. And Shane's like, how about this? You're still banned at Extreme Rules and you're banned tonight. So Charlotte versus Paige with Ric Flair not at ringside. Paige, Paige took over and destroyed 90% of this match. Paige, uh, she kicks Charlotte out of the ring, and then she mocks Ric Flair with a style and a profile and walk. Uh, Paige then hits a bunch of knees. One, two, Charlotte kicks out. Paige then superplex Charlotte off the turnbuckle, and Charlotte kicks out of that as well at two. Charlotte then slams Paige, Paige's face off the turnbuckle, and uh, she goes for the pin, but Natalia breaks it up. She was a commentary. She breaks it up, and then Ric Flair comes out, Gets in Natalia's face. Shane then comes out with a bunch of refs and ejects uh, Rick. And while Charlotte was distracted, Paige rolls her up for the win. Very nice to see Paige get a win on Charlotte. Uh, Sami Zayn versus The Miz. Now before this, uh, we go over this match, uh, it was announced that at Extreme Rules, Miz will take on Cesaro and Kevin Owens in a triple threat for the Intercontinental Championship. And then Sami Zayn interrupted. He's like, I don't like that. I held up the uh, championship, and the crowd wants me to be the champion. Give me a shot. And Shane says, okay, if you can beat The Miz, you can be added into the match, and it'll become a fatal four-way. So Sami Zayn versus The Miz. If Sami Zayn wins, it becomes a fatal four-way. Uh, Miz starts off very strong. Sami then takes over with a Hurricanrana. Sami hits a moonsault. Like, uh, the Miz Irish whips him into the barricade. Sammy jumps on the barricade and hits a moonsault. It was pretty cool. Miz then throws Sammy out of the ring. And uh, when he gets uh, out of the when he goes out of the ring, he bounces his head off the steel steps. 
Sammy then hits a slam. It looked like the blue thunder blue thunder bomb, but they called it something different. So I didn't know what to put, so I just said he slammed Miz for a two count. And then Sammy hits a huluva kick for the win at Extreme Rules. It'll be Cesaro versus Kevin Owens versus the Miz versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship in a fatal four-way match. Pretty pretty exciting. Sinkara versus Rusev. Rusev starts off strong as he should. Sinkara then plants Rusev with a DDT and he starts to take over. Sinkara dies on Rusev on the outside. Rusev hits a super kick and I didn't see exactly how, but Sinkara wins with a roll up. I guess that's okay. Uh, the club versus the family. The club being Carl Anderson, Doc, uh, Luke Gallows, and uh, AJ Styles versus the family, which is the Usos and Roman Reigns, in a six-man elimination tag match. Because apparently we needed to see it. Because we saw a normal six-man tag last week. We saw a normal six-man tag on SmackDown. So why not give us another six-man tag match between these uh, six gentlemen and not give us the Shield versus the club because that's not what we want or anything. Uh, Carl and Jay start off. Roman then comes in and uses the Usos as weapons. Like he just throws the Usos into Carl Anderson. Uh, AJ comes in against Jay, and then Jay, no, AJ uh, gets out because Carl Anderson wants him. Uh, Jay then takes over on Carl. Uh, while the ref wasn't looking, Gallows hits Jay in the face, and Carl eliminates Jay. Roman and AJ then come in, but Gallows quickly tags AJ out because he wanted a piece of Roman. And Roman Superman punches AJ off the apron when he gets Irish whipped into the corner. Jimmy rolls up Carl Anderson for the win, well, for the elimination. So it's down to Jimmy and Roman versus Gallows and AJ. Uh, and then it went to a commercial break, and when the commercial came back, Jimmy was eliminated. So AJ and Gallows stomp Roman Reigns in the corner, and Roman fights back on Doc Gallows, hits a, or Luke Gallows, hits a Superman punch, and he eliminates Gallows. AJ then instantly gets in the ring, starts beating the shit out of Roman. Uh, he hits a Pele kick, he hits a, f a forearm, and takes apart the announce table. He was going to put him through the announce table. But Roman Reigns throws him over the table, and right before he can do anything, Anderson comes out, hits him in the back with a steel chair, eliminates AJ. Roman Reigns and the family win, but it wasn't over there. Uh, the Usos then come out, and they start attacking Gallows and Anderson. And in all-out brawl, Roman spears Gallows and Anderson, and AJ hits Roman with a chair. Roman then uh, looks at the chair, looks at AJ. He gives AJ the chair. And AJ kicks the chair back. Neither one of them want to hit each other with the chair. And the crowd, for some reason, I don't know how edited the crowd was, but they were doing AJ Styles, Roman Reigns chants. It was, it was fucking weird. The crowd was behind Roman. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't legit. AJ leaves the ring to booze. He leaves, he walks out of the ring because he doesn't want to fight Roman tonight. And he gets booed. Dude, I don't understand. Um... Another backstage segment about the Fatal 4-Way, Zack Ryder was talking to Shane McMahon and says that he should be in the title match because he beat Kevin Owens. And Shane was like, okay, you want in the title match? You beat Kevin Owens tonight, you take Kevin Owens' spot. So, winner is in the Fatal 4-Way, Kevin Owens versus Zack Ryder. Owens, uh, he's in control the whole time. Ryder then slams Owens on the outside. Uh, Ryder hits a drop kick, 1-2, Owens kicks out. Uh, Ryder hits an elbow drop, 1-2, Owens kicks out, and then Owens hits a pop-up for the win and stays in the Intercontinental Championship match. Now, this next match, I didn't see. I, like, I walked upstairs really quick and during a commercial break, and when I came back, I missed the whole match. Um, but it's, the New Day came out to talk about Extreme Rules and how they faced the VOD villains, and then the Dudleys come out, and apparently they had a match. Uh, New Day versus the Dudleys, Kofi Kingston and Big E versus Bubba and Devon. Uh, I really didn't care anyway, but I didn't get to see it. But when I came back, the VOD villains were beating up the New Day, so that happened. And this next match, I don't even think happened. Like, again, I uh, walked away for literally two seconds during a commercial break and came back, and something else was not 
something else was going on. It wasn't the match. Big Cass versus Chris Jericho was the main event. Uh, when I came back, Dean Ambrose was uh, taking a life, taking off a mask, I think, and he was wearing uh, Chris Jericho's uh, light up jacket. And apparently, he attacked Chris Jericho, and then he uh, he started to rip up and destroy the light up jacket. And Jericho rushes to the ring, and they start to brawl. And Big Cass doesn't let Chris Jericho leave, and they just stare at each other. And then Chris slaps Big Cass, and Big Cass is like, are you fucking kidding me? Did, did you know who you're dealing with? Uh, Cass then destroys Chris Jericho, throws him in the ring, and Dean Ambrose hits a Dirty D's to end the show. It was it was a decent show. It was a decent show. I was so amazed by how, how behind the crowd was for Roman Reigns. It was it was weird. They haven't been behind Roman Reigns in what a year and a half maybe. Um I don't know. But uh, Extreme Rules is next Sunday. So we have one more week. Um there are rumors that uh Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose will be making a return for with the Shield apparently. I don't know how true these are. Um, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Camp Council Cody, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles.